outdoors, whether it's just recreational, hiking, camping, or it could be a stressful situation. You know, I had a friend of mine just recently that was uh, hunting, and while he was looking for a deer that he had shot, he got lost in the woods, ended up spending the night in the woods overnight. You just never know when you may need good, clean, drinkable water. And you know, I have a creek running right by me here that's pretty clean, but it's what you can't see that's the danger. Now here we have a stream, and it is pretty clean, but uh, I wouldn't drink out of this stream typically. Here we can just tap into some water. Good and fresh, clean, no aftertaste whatsoever. Yuck. <laughs> It'll refill 160 times to just regular creek water or suspect water. And again, 640 times good tap water. This could save your life. Water. Three days without water, you're dead. Folks, we live in a world of convenience, the internet, fast food, but technology is vulnerable. And there are a lot of terrorist activities that are going on right now. A lot of plans to hit municipal water supplies. Guys, it doesn't hurt to have a backup. You may have a Brita filter, you may have one of these kind of basic filtration systems. Our uh, refrigerator has a filter system on it. And it's really to take regular tap water and clean out some of the things. This will take care of 99.99% of all the pathogens and all the things that are dangerous to you. Now, if there is a virus or a serious bacteria in the water, you need to put um, some, a little bit of chlorine in here, a little bit of, uh, of water purification to kill the serious bacteria and viruses. But for every day, for like in creeks and streams, for lake water, pond water, even a puddle, this could save your life. And not only that, if you were ever cut or injured and you needed to clean the wound, you don't want to clean it with regular creek water. You could get something from that. So you, it's good to have clean water for that as well. And in other countries, if you're traveling at all, this just makes sense. The Berkey Sport Bottle. Just a great, excellent survival tool. Now the first time you use it, you're supposed to uh, filter this out twice. Just regular tap water. Fill it up, place the filter down into the bottle. Lift the straw. It takes a second for the filter to fill up with water. And then just filter this out twice. If you're using regular tap water, you can refill it 640 times for good, pure drinking water. If you're using it from a source that's questionable, it's up to 160 refills with each filter. The filters can be replaced, of course. Now, an easy way to do this is just to put your weight down on it instead of sitting there squeezing it with your hand. And that'll get the water out quicker and easier. The Berkey Sport Bottle removes 99.9% .9 of your harmful microscopic pathogens such as E. coli, Giardia, Christosporidium, and many others. And so this is really something that can uh, take care of way more than you probably will have to deal with. But I know recently there was one municipal uh, water supply that had E. coli and it was two days after the, uh, the infection happened that they announced it. So for two days these people were exposed to who knows what. You know, I keep a big Berkey water filtration system in our home and drink out of it. These are great for your bug out bag especially. I can't think of anything better if you're on the road, if you're trying to get to a certain retreat or your location, having one of these. This is a reusable water source. 160 refills with even, uh, you know, somewhat suspect water. I think that's a pretty good, your odds are pretty good. Now to clean this, you clean it with good clear water. These filters will last, shelf life 50 years. 
Now to clean these, take a chlorine solution of one fourth of a teaspoon and a half gallon of water. Cold water again, do not use warm water, uh, do not use anything other than just good, cool water. And uh, you can filter this out and clean it and then put, let it dry and put it away. I'm going to show you a few of the things about this too, uh, some of the internals just to give you a better idea. Okay, first off, it's just a, a soft plastic that's about the size of a Nalgene bottle, but much healthier than a Nalgene bottle. Uh, the lid has the straw hidden. Push it back, the straw comes out. This gives you a small little carry handle as well. You could even tie this on to something if you needed to. The lid comes off and the straw is attached down here to the filter itself. These can be um, replaced very easily, and uh, but they are just the same kind of system that the Berkey uses, which has been proven over and over. Not only did I buy one, but I picked up five of these for my family, which I think is extremely important. Now I've seen plenty of examples where people have put actual food coloring into these, or red dyes, into these bottles with the water, and it would come out clear. The only reason I didn't do it is I just don't have any dye, but if I, I've seen there's a lot of examples on YouTube, so check it out, but it's incredible. I knew the Berkey system would do the same, even red food coloring dye, which is incredible. Brings it right out to crystal clear. Now, the best place to get these is directive21.com. Jeff, or the Berkey guy, which actually, if you guys have seen my earlier radio interview with Jeff, what a, what a great guy, but um, he has all the Berkey products and a lot of other survival products. The seed bank, he does uh, these large bladders, water bladders to store your water, and a lot of other great books, great survival uh, type books for homesteading and etc. So check out directive21.com. And uh, tell Jeff that I sent you. I just really like Jeff. He's a great guy. He also has his own channel. I'll have that link as well. All of this will be down in the description. So uh, check it out. I think that you really, if you are concerned about the future, water is your number one concern, or it should be. And this Berkey filter system is just simply the best. You guys didn't know South Carolina was so beautiful, did you? And as always, thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more fun gun reviews and sensible survival. God bless America. Long live the Republic. All this talk about fresh, clean water makes me want to light up a big stogie. Got the balance of life.